Welcome to Seeking God, where we consider the questions and stories regarding faith. How did you learn to give thanks? How did you learn to express gratitude? Diana Butler Bass in her book, Gratitude, talks about how early in her life when she was finally able, her mother insisted that she learn how to write thank you cards to people. It was not something she necessarily enjoyed doing, but it instilled in her that expressing one's gratitude was something that was very important. As a young child, I was taught always to say thank you when someone gave me something, a gift or anything. On one occasion, as a young child, someone handed me a nickel. And my mother standing there said, what do you say? And I said, thank you. May I have another for my brother? Sometimes it backfires. How we learn to express gratitude is important because I don't think that this is a natural thing to do. When Aristotle developed his list of virtues, those things that, those behaviors that indicate high moral character, gratitude was not one of them. Later down the line, someone offered that it ought to be one, and I happen to think that gratitude, thankfulness, is a great underrated virtue that it brings about certain things in our lives and it indicates something about our moral character. If we can be grateful. That brings to mind a couple of things for me. The first is, what are those things for which I am grateful? Typically, when we look at that, we may be grateful for a gift that someone gives us. We may be thankful that somehow someone was present with us at a difficult time in our lives. Perhaps there's something that you've wanted for a long, long time. And someone knew that. You expressed that to them, so they bought and gave you something. Gifts often lead us to be grateful or thankful. Sometimes not so much. I'm not one of those people who like the compulsory joking gift exchanges around the holidays. I can do it. It's okay, but I don't necessarily feel grateful for it. What are the things that you receive? What are the things in your life for which you are thankful? I think that for me, those things have changed. When I was much younger, it was about the things that I received. You know, the Christmas list that I would give and everything would, would, be, would come on that Christmas list. I was happy, I was thankful, I was grateful, and I would express it in whatever ways I could. I would say thank you. I might write a note or do something else. As I have grown older, I have come to realize that it is not so much those things, the lists of things that I want or perhaps need, 
Those are not the things that I find myself being more, more grateful for, having gratitude for. Rather, it has to do with relationships. And in particular, the care that someone may show toward me. I don't know if that's the case for you, but somehow this relational aspect of life is what anymore brings me gratitude or engenders gratitude in me. When I've had a hard day or a week or month, the realization that something that I had taken for granted is actually present in my life, the realization that someone, a particular someone, cares about me and loves me and shows me that they love me, it stirs my heart and it makes me grateful. I have gratitude more than I do for the gifts around me. It's not the large things in my life, it's the relational things. If someone gives me a small gift that indicates to me that they thought about me, that's special. If someone gives me something small that they made, that is special. And I feel grateful. So what is this? What does gratitude, what does being thankful do and how do you respond? Sometimes it's almost as if because we're grateful, we have to give something back. And in giving something back, then, then it's left to the other person as to how they respond to us. Sometimes saying thank you doesn't seem to be enough. There seems to be an expectation to do more. But I suggest that gratitude, true gratitude, comes not simply because we may want to give something back, but because we appreciate the other person and their role in our lives. I think that's important. And I think that for me on this journey of faith, it has been become important for me to know gratitude and that the way I experience it has changed. I'm grateful to be on this journey. I'm grateful and thankful that you are on a journey too. Truly, thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for joining me in seeking God. <laughs>